Hi everyone and welcome to the Tuesdays on the Witch's Voice and I am the new witch and today's topic is coming out of the broom closet and how you did it. So I already made this video before just as Kira I was out at, by our beach and yeah apparently I deleted it and it was really fun and I really liked that video. <laughs> I'm really mad now. But I guess I could always remake it, but it's just since I was looking so cute that day, I wanted you guys to see, but I guess you can't. I'm sorry. But, how I came out. I, well, that was a long time ago. It was actually, like, 2009. Whoa. <sighs> Three years ago, but. It was really random. I think I was telling my mom this after I was watching a few Tiptoe Chicks videos and Charming Pixie Flores videos. You know, to make sure I had my path down and I really wanted to go into it. Because sometimes I was always feeling like I didn't really want to do it. Kind of feel like I was didn't want to put that much effort into it. But then, you know, as soon as I grew out of that, I felt like it wasn't anything you really had to think it's just something that you do. It becomes part of your routine and you do it like every single day. So as soon as I got that, it was really good. Um, since we're not Christian and we're not a really discrimination kind of family where we don't like a certain religion or we don't like gays or whatever, we're very open, and that's what I'm very happy about with my family, because they took it so nice. Uh, huh. Sorry, it's 9 o'clock, and I'm making this video late, because I won't have t any time to do it tomorrow, because Sims 3 Seasons comes out, and... Yeah, I'll know when I get a new expansion pack, I play it until, like, midnight the next day. But... Yeah, the, she actually really liked it because we went to our my store, The Violet Flame. If you guys remember that in some of my videos. Um, that's where I got my very first Trekwatra pendant, my Athame, my Rose Quartz Sphere. sphere. <sighs> I can never say that word. Um, just a few of my things, but as soon as I like, left, I was sent to Amazon, 13 Moons, Etsy, um, okay, I gotta stop doing this, because my nails are getting long, and I'm, like, puncturing my skin, because <laughs> I'm trying not to yawn, so I always, like, squeeze or pinch my arms, not a good idea, but, sorry, I was, like, in the middle of a yawn, and, oh, there we go. So, the good thing about my family is that we sometimes, this is sometimes, where we don't bother other people's, other, like, their stuff. We hardly touch each other's stuff unless it's laundry and food and that's, you know, the stuff that you kind of have to. But if it's in your room and it's something that it's personal for you, unless you're, like, a five-year-old, like, my brother... He'll touch anything, which means that I always have to re-cleanse everything on my altar. It's annoying, but, yeah, it's annoying. But, yeah, she doesn't care my dad's, my dad's my dad. I could care less what he thinks, because, you know, not to bash any dads, but this is my dad. He, he has no, like, he does not know me at all. He, every time I even wear my hair up, oh, it's time to get the scissors out and cut your hair off. Oh my god. He doesn't get me at all, and I'm surprised he's even, he even says I love you. I hardly ever say I love you to him. It's really sad because he is never here. He's only here like two times a week. And it's because he drives semi and... Yeah, I don't go for him to anything unless it's taking my car to get it fixed. That's pretty much the only thing. 
But other than that, my mom's like the only one in my family that I can actually talk to. But, well, and my sister. <sighs> middle, middle yawn. But, yeah, that's pretty much how I came out. I just was in my car and I was asking my mom a few questions. It's kind of like how I was asking her about the transgender questions, but... I don't know, um... She took it very well, mostly because she, she didn't think it was that bad of a thing because I watched Charmed way before I got really into witchcraft. She knew that I loved the show, and I don't know. She just th thought it was a stage, you know, like every mom or parent does. <sighs> Again, sorry. And... Yeah, my journey has grown from there, and I'm just so happy that my family's open and everything. So, if you have a Christian family and you guys have are very have very strict rules, take into consideration to just when you're living with your parents, follow the rules. Don't do not be rebels. That would just be terrible for your parents and for the living situation. I've tried that. <laughs> But, yeah, I pretty much can't throw anything else at my parents. Because they pretty much... Oh my god, something is in my eye. Uh, they've pretty much been thrown with everything I can throw at them. Transgender. I'm a witch. I'm a YouTuber. And that's pretty much it. Um, except the only other thing could be is... Hey, Mom, Dad, I'm moving out. That's the only thing. And that I really want to be able to say soon. But, yeah, that's pretty much my coming out story. It wasn't that much of a story, just details. Um, yeah, I am really excited for next week's topic. And see you guys next time. Blessed be.